Thanksgiving after traveling miles to give back to strangers. My longtime friend Christopher Woody has donated several organs to those in dire need, complete strangers, and saving their lives in the process. On your side at six, Raven Brown shares his story. A gift. That's all I can say. It's a gift from God above. Giving back is something Christopher Woody has had his heart set on for the past decade. African Americans is, are one of the most people that needs kidneys and in the organ program and organ facilities. Um, with that being said, I wanted to be an advocate for living donation and also to, um, being an advocate for donation period. It started back in 2013, Woody finding out he was the only match for his young cousin who needed a kidney. After that procedure, he knew this was his calling. Just to save someone else's life, once I seen the effect of organ donation for a family member, I made a decision to help someone else. Deciding to travel more than 200 miles away to Pittsburgh in March to donate 60% of his liver to save not just one life, but two. This scar is one he says he's proud of and one he wears with honor. Woody now joining the small list of 190 other people in the country as a double organ donor. It just happened on Valentine's Day. I went to go see a movie called Ordinary Angels. I contact them. They say they didn't find nobody. The next day I got an email and say, hey, we got a we got a recipient for your liver and we set the date then. So it happened like so fast. And Christopher's not done yet. He hopes to make his last and final donation as a bone marrow donor. But he says that's a little bit of a longer process to find an exact match in Richmond. Raven Brown 12 on your side. Thanks, Raven. And it's worth noting April is National Donate Life Month. If you want to find out more about becoming a donor, visit DonateLifeVirginia.org. We'll be right back.